this part of Cyprus has been abandoned since 1974. During the last almost 50 years, uh, there was no influence of uh, humans, so it, uh, that's, that made uh, the habitats and plants uh, to uh, flourish here. that some parts of the buffer zone could function as uh, biodiversity hotspots for the rest of the island. So these are areas where biodiversity flourishes, where you have healthy populations of different species. People who work in environmental issues are usually so passionate about the environment so they don't really, when they meet each other, they talk about that and they don't bother talking about other issues. So actually one of the aims of our project was to get people who are interested in the environment in both communities to collaborate with each other. also looking at uh, environmental issues uh, here in Cyprus and we're seeing opportunities, opportunities to help build peace between two divided communities. We know from our work with young people on the island that they have a shared concern for the environment. We are bringing these communities together to address common environmental concerns inside the buffer zone. we can get uh, the two communities working together, the more that we can get them to meet, whether it be inside of the buffer zone or outside of the buffer zone, or on common issues of concern, it will benefit not only the environment, but also the peace process as well.